Hey guys, how's it going? Selfful so Lockpicker here. In the video I have for you today, I'm going to be doing an unboxing and an initial look at an alternative to the original Lishi tool. If you've seen in my prior videos, I've shown you the original Lishi in the KW1, KW5, SC1, and SC4 keyways. When I was looking on eBay the other day, I saw that there was a cheaper alternative, so instead of paying $120 a piece, you can pay $59 a piece. The type of Lishi that I found is called a Genuine Lishi, which I believe is going to be a knockoff brand, but I'm really interested to see if it's going to be able to pick and decode accurately like these ones if you're looking for a cheaper alternative. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this package right here and we'll take a look together. I'm so excited to be able to find a potential cheaper alternative. I know $120 a pick is quite expensive and Really, this is going to be a cool thing to find out, and I've been really looking forward to making this video. Alright, so what we have is we're going to have, as you can tell, it's called Genuine Lishi. And these are tools built for life. So, what I'm going to do is let's open up these and we'll take a look at them one at a time. So let's just do a quick comparison so we can take a look at these compared to its counterpart. So what I have in my hand here is going to be the KW5. This Leashy tool opens up just like any other tool. Um, one thing I'm not 100% sure, which I'll have to find out by playing with it, is can I take this tension arm off and put it on the other side? Looks like there is a set screw there, so that's probably possible. That's something that I find pretty important. But taking a quick look, we can see that we have the KW5 versus the KW5. The genuine Lishi on the bottom and the original Lishi on the top. They do all seem to be pretty much the same exact thing. So I'm going to be really interested to see. The material feels slightly different, but um, I'm really interested to see. So that's the KW5. Now we got the SC1. So once again, we have the original Lishi on the top and the genuine Lishi on the bottom. So these do really seem like they're pretty much a carbon copy, just slightly different material. Um, if you want to know if you have the original Lishi, you're going to see Mr. Lishi's face on the tool in several places. So that's how you can know that you have the original Lishi. And now let's take a look at the, the next ones. So now we're going to have the SC4. Once again, those look pretty identical. But we're saving so much money getting one for $59 versus $120. And now we got the KW1, which let's find its counterpart right here. So now that we see that these tools look very similar, what I'm going to do is let's throw these let's throw them into some locks and see how they do. Alright, so let's see what it takes to open this lock up with the genuine SC1 Lishi. So this is going to be the $59 knockoff brand. So I'm going to put on some clockwise tension and i got to click on one, click on two, click on three, click on four, click on five, and the lock opened up as easily as it normally would. What I'm really interested in is trying to compare the decoding and make sure that it is going to be accurate. So taking a look at the very first pin, that looks like it's going to be a 6 cut. Moving on to the next one, that's going to be a 7. In chamber 3, we are going to be looking at a 3 cut. 4 is going to look like a 5 cut. And 5 is going to look like a 5 cut. So having decoded this lock before, I know that that looks accurate, but just to be thorough, Let's toss in the original Lishi, the one that I know is going to be a great tool. This is the $120 one, and let's just decode this right now. So we're getting a 6, getting a 7, we're getting a 3, 5, and 5. So these two tools match up perfectly. So for a good savings, that is a pretty cool thing. 
It will be interesting to see how they stand up to the test of time, but let's lock the cylinder back up. And what I'm going to do is let's pick this open using the SC4 variant and see how it does. So one thing I want to keep in mind is the fact that this lock in front of us is a six pin cylinder. So it's going to be able to fully insert. If this were a five pin cylinder, I would have to have it pulled out one chamber. So let's pick this open again. One, two, three, four, five. It picked as easily as it did the first time. And now decoding, we're going to get a six. Then we're going to get a seven, a three, a five, and a five. So that is very accurate as well. And now we're going to just finish this up by decoding one last time with the original Lishi SC4, and this is the $120 more expensive one. So we're, once again, we're getting a six, then we're getting a seven, then we're getting a three, then we're getting a five, and a five. And as you can tell, there's nothing in the last chamber. So as is right now, these two tools are working very well, and I could say that they're pretty interchangeable. If you're looking to save some money, right now I am pretty happy, but let's load up a quick set lock and see how we do. All right, so let's try out the genuine Lishi and see how it does picking and decoding this quick set lock. So starting off on one, got a good click, two, got a good click, three, got a good click, four, and five, and the lock is now opened up. So now going to decode this, I'm going down all the way to four, and now in chamber two, I'm going all the way down to two, chamber three, I'm going down to three, four is a six, five is a one, and that was a really quick pick and decode, but let's compare this code to what we get with the original KW1 Lishi, which is the more expensive brand name. So we're going to see we're going to get a 4 again. We're going to get the 2. We're going to get a 3 again. 6. And a 1. So we're able to get the same code. So I'm going to lock this lock up. And now I'm going to pick it open using the genuine KW5 Lishi tool. So this is a 6 pin tool. But this is actually a six pin lock, only pinned up to five. If this only had five pins, we would have to pull it out one chamber. So I'm going to do some tension and we're going to get a click on one, click on two, click on three, nothing on four, five opened us up. So now when we go to decode it, we're going to get a four again. We're going to get a two, then we're going to get a three, then we're going to get a six, and then we're going to get the one. So what I'm gonna do right now is finish this up by doing the KW5 original Lishi tool, the more expensive one, and we're gonna see what we get. So one thing I'm finding right now is that the fit's a little bit tighter. It's having a harder time getting in Never had that problem before, but let's get the tool in and decode this lock. But this is a little bit strange if I'm honest. Never had this problem, but that is a tight, tight fit. But let's see, four, two, three, six, one. So what I'm going to do is say that these are actually some really cool tools. One thing I haven't done with this lock is I actually just got this quick set in. I'm not sure if this is like a zero um, cut pen or not because of the fact that it is felt like it's almost set, especially when I put the tool in. Let me put this in for you right here. When you check out four and I lock it back up, to me that looks like it is set. I don't know if that was going to be, if it is a seven pen, seven length pen, if that would show up on the leash. It does look maybe a smidge higher, sitting higher than six, so that could be a seven cut. But for the scope of this video, I'm calling it a six cut, but that does look a little bit higher 
But when you look at it, it does look like it is set. That's just one thing to think about. But either way, guys, all that I have for you today, this has just been a quick unboxing and initial showing of the genuine Leashy Tools, a cheaper alternative to the original Leashy Tools, which sell for $120 a piece. I actually was able to buy this four pack and it came out to about $55 a piece. But either way guys, this is all that I have for you today. If you have any questions or suggestions, please drop those in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking this out and I hope you all have a great day and I cannot wait to see you in the next video.